what's going on guys and welcome to your 15th HTML and CSS tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be learning about text area in HTML and in the last tutorial we learned about input type uh, basically input boxes in HTML and in this tutorial let's see what are text areas and how we can create one so here's our browser and let's create a text area and just like it sounds it is a tag, a closing tag, instead of uh, just an empty tag like input and it is pretty much like it would create a like this thing right here which you could uh, basically modify its size with your mouse itself so this creates this thing because of the enter I entered here so if I do like this thing then it would be clean as you can see now if I type anything like here hello world then it will appear inside this text box so we don't have any value attribute for this to specify because this is a container tag instead of empty tag so basically text areas are used for writing long messages which could not be written into one line input type boxes so these are kind of multi-line messages for your form for example if you want some suggestions or comments from your users then instead of using one line input box you would use prefer to use text areas and we have a bunch of attributes for this text area and let's discuss what they are so let's have a look we have calls and rows attributes in text areas and many more but these are two kind of required I, g I guess and you get you can say like 50 calls and 20 rows just to show you what does these two mean and let's reload this and as you can see we have successfully modified the text area size now what does this mean actually that there would be 20 lines down here in to be more precise let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and exactly 20 lines as rows and 50 calls means that there would be 50 characters in this line and let's see 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Wow, we just counted from 1 to 50. And you are passed in your class A. <laughs> so, now, as you can know now, as you know now, that calls stands for the number of characters in one row. And row stands for number of lines in your text box. So you can modify the size of text area with calls and rows attributes but I would recommend going with CSS which we will be learning in future tutorials to modify the size of this text box and basically we have an another attribute which would allow you to limit the number of characters entered in your text box and let's see what that attribute is now in your attribute in your uh, element type max length and set it to 10 and now let's reload this oh, let's just remove this uh, let's reload this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and whoa I cannot type any further in this text box because we have set max length to 10 and it would block any further input in the text box though you can remove your input but would not be able to add input beyond 10 characters in my case and you can modify this value to 100 or whatever you like so that's all for text area in forms and uh, that's how they work and they are pretty much flexible for messaging and all that stuff you need when you need to write some long messages and so I'll see you then in the next tutorial and we'll be discussing something cool about forms in the next tutorial I'm sure that and I'm going for dinner so see you then goodbye and take care and don't forget to subscribe obviously